Let's let's pull up this uh this tweet here we got from the Oversight Committee Republicans breaking. We've released never before seen emails showing Dr. Fauci may have concealed information about COVID-19 originating from the Wuhan lab and intentionally downplayed the lab leak theory. I got to say all of this coming out at the same time is kind of insane. It's after Christmas, everyone's fed up. My family was well, done with it over Christmas. They, they could be burning Fauci. Uh, Fauci is, again, sort of a conduit and a middle player to a lot of other bigger players and, and also has a lot of communications with other individuals that are named to Mr. Gates. But that's a whole different story to, to say itself. But I think the question is, is this a PSYOP is an important one, especially when we're having so much information come out. I, I think we're at a very important turning point. I think a lot of things are going to change within the next month, within the next two months. I think it's important to look out. And I think this could be also an attempt to uh, release a lot of this information to save their buttocks hmm. uh, family friendly show here to, <laughs> yeah. to, to, to sustain to kind of uh, soften their fall from the, the grace well, of, of COVID overlords. Many people have pointed out the Democrats aren't going to win if they're running on COVID lockdowns. Yeah, mm -hmm. the, the polling is not going to be in their favor right now. Everything's turning like, you know, in Canada, where I'm from is you, you can see it. it people, people are, are fed so up. fed up. Yeah. Like there, there has to be a turn here. And I think well, that's what we're seeing. Maybe this gives the Democratic uh, Party and the establishment an out. Jake Tapper. Oh, oh, I can't believe that that's these numbers. Crazy. Can you believe it? Oh, I'm on your side. I'm angry, too. And then all of a sudden, Democrats are like, we know Fauci let us down. Vote for us. Yeah, I saw a Absolutely. tweet today. I was this lady was like, all the lies are coming out. You know, everything's being revealed. And I was like, no, lady, these Democrats have a 2022 midterm to drag out. They need to fix this now. And they're just now realizing it. they're a little bit slow, but they're they're on the case now. So so this this document release from uh, yeah. the the oversight committee. Uh, let me let me read a little bit for you. They say. We write to requ request a transcribed interview of Dr. Anthony Fauci, director, U.S. National. No, we, we get it. Um, enclosed. Reveal that Dr. Fauci warned of two things. The potential that COVID-19 leaked from the Wuhan Institute of Virology and two, the possibility that the virus was intentionally genetically manipulated. It is imperative we investigate if this information was conveyed to the rest of the government and whether the information would have changed the U.S. response to the pandemic. So Fauci had apparently excerpts, uh, they say excerpts of emails we are making public today. Reveal, uh, reveal that information. Uh, Fauci, as we as we uh, um, we learned with the Fauci leaks, remember that? Mm -hmm. Anthony Fauci was communicating with several individuals, and they were questioning whether or not this did come from a lab. That's why I mentioned Peter Navarro. Uh, he had stated that when he was in the Trump administration, and they had Fauci there, and they were like, "What's going on?" Fauci did not tell them that they believed it was possible that the lab leak happened. I think at this point, we may not have an official from the Wuhan lab, because you never will, because it's China, coming out and definitively saying, yes, it happened. But I think when Jon Stewart rants on Colbert's show that there's no other reasonable explanation, <laughs> then we're already at that point, right? It, 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 is, it is likely a lab leak. Now, here's where it's fascinating. When Rand Paul said that Fauci was responsible for this, and then he said, I have no responsibility for this. And it's, it's just crazy because... Who are they still trying to convince, right? At this point, most, I think you ask most people, they'll be like, yeah, it probably came from that lab. John Stewart said it, right? They're probably trying to convince the people that own Fauci bobbleheads. Mm, yeah. That's, that's a, that's a, that's that's a, a good way to describe them. Yeah. <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> <laughs> what do you call those kind of individuals? I don't know. Bobbleheads? Yeah. That's <laughs> another, like that that's one, another yeah. reason. But, but, you know, there's a lot of information coming forward right now. <laughs> Why did you think of Fauci? I don't know. That's first thing, that's the there's a lot of crazy <laughs> mind. That's actually together. a really good way to identify. Like I almost got you one, dude. Exist. I'm going to get you really? one. Really? Yeah, no, you like you can actually buy Dr. Fauci bobbleheads. The kind <laughs> of person who has this yeah. is... Or like those candles, those votive candles. Oh, yeah, yeah where it was Saint like Fauci. Saint Fauci. Oh, jeez. Saint Fauci. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he'd be a great guest. I don't know if he'd Fauci? actually say Fauci? anything, if he'd just be defensive. We could even get him or... He would never. Show. I, I think from today's hearings, especially with U.S. Senator Rand Paul, it's pretty clear that Fauci is not used to being asked any tough questions. He was hammered by Rand Paul, I believe correctly so, on, on very important issues, on a lot of these emails, on a lot of these documents. And Dr. Fauci's response was, it's not true. There's people that don't like me and threaten me. 
I mean, does he know he's talking to Rand Paul, who literally was attacked by his neighbor, <laughs> yeah. who was literally didn't, shot at? Like, didn't, like, didn't, like, uh, like, that was his argument. That's not an argument, Dr. Fauci. Yeah. Lay out your argument, present the data, present your information, and be able to reach across the aisle and talk to the other side. He has never done that. He only does softball interviews where the pundits, literally family-friendly show, uh, do adult things to him with their um, mouth. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> hey, did, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not going there. Yeah, wait, but, but, but hold on. Did, wait, didn't, wait. Uh, I, I didn't see it, but you mentioned Crowder. Yeah. Shouted us out. Yeah, so right at the end of his like publicly available show, he mentioned that we've been swatted more than Fauci has. Like Tim Pool's been swatted more than you have. So quit complaining. Great. I Sucks appreciate the shout out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think it's pretty clear. When when Dr. Fauci's on the corporate media, which he loves to be on, he always gets gets softball question. He always gets massage. He always gets Fauci, why are you so great and awesome and, and, and super incredible and helping save the world? That's literally the, the type of questions that he and asked. They answer questions for him too. They'll mm. say things like, I was curious your position position on the virus because a bunch of right-wing channels were lying by saying X, Y, and Z. And of course, we know A, B, and C. So uh, would you like to reiterate what I just said, Dr. Fauci? Uh -huh. exactly. Yes, that's absolutely correct. The droplets and the masks. <laughs> exactly. And I, I think today's hearings proved that there wasn't any kind of real discussion. It, it was very testy. And I think it's pretty clear from everyone watching that Dr. Fauci doesn't have an argument here. And he's definitely on the wrong side of the larger debate that's unfolding right now with what a lot of people are thinking <clears throat> and we're afraid to express. But now it's finally coming out to the limelight as of course, everything that's being exposed right now, the supposed conspiracy theorists were literally saying from the very beginning of this, they were censored on big tech social media. They were denied having a voice in this conversation. And now those conspiracy theorists were really just spoiling alerts as of course everything's coming true so in my 1 p.m segment i opened with a princess bride reference i love that movie. it Which actually one? it actually was hard for me to get right i had to re i had to try recording like 10 times oh, no. <laughs> i opened with Fauci fell victim to one of the classic blunders, <laughs> the most famous of which is never get involved in a land war in Asia, mm -hmm. and only slightly less see That's a good one. <laughs> slightly less well known is never hold up a piece of paper on television <laughs> because you will become a meme. Amazing. You see, I couldn't even do it right now <laughs> after all that practice. But that's that's actually one of the funniest takeaways from this from that moment. Fauci actually picked up a piece of paper, which I will not do, and it, <laughs> right? it said it, it's a picture of him, and it says "Fire Fauci," and he's pointing at it angrily, and <laughs> I'm like, like, "Yes, yes, we agree, yes. Fauci. Thank <laughs> you for go. this for this uh, um, pantomime of what we all should do." But it was funny too because it was Rand Paul's website, which is fundraising, and he was like, "It says Fire Fauci, and you can give one dollar, two dollars, five dollars." I'm like, "This is a great pitch." <laughs> like he's advertising for it. So I, I, I don't know. The whole thing was just ridiculous. But what I love about Fauci's responses to Rand Paul is the way I describe it is he's like, Rand Paul goes, Dr. Fauci, you were, were, were engaging in gain of function research at the Wuhan Institute through funding EcoHealth Alliance. And Fauci will be like, no, we did not. The, the example I give is like Fauci's explanation is, is uh, Rand Paul says, you put a door in my bedroom, in fact, it's not a door. It's just a large piece of wood on hinges with a knob that when you turn, moves a piece of metal, which allows you to open on the hinges and enter the room. And you're like, bro, you're describing That's a door, door to me. <laughs> That's how he does the gain of function. No. It is not gain of function research. Wendy. It is just the creation of chimeric viruses to increase transmissibility. You're describing gain of function, yeah. Dr. Fauci. No, I'm not. <laughs> That's literally what he did. That's crazy. Yo, I want. I think this guy should be arrested. I'm not even kidding. Absolutely. Uh, subpoenaed, uh, questioned thoroughly, release all the documents, release all the studies that he's done. And when you, when you truly find out what he's been responsible for, there, there's no going back to the official narrative that he has set on the American people because you learn about things like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. in his book, The Real Anthony Fauci, talking about how people were horribly aff affected by his studies, whether it was orphans, whether it was monkeys, whether it was beagle puppies. There, there's a long trail of just horrible misdoings by this man. And I think it's more than time than ever that we hold them responsible for all those. Yeah, yo, I want to buy a bobblehead of him. Oh, yeah, let's get a bunch of them. Let's get different ones Why? if we can find them. What do you I, mean? I almost well, I have that it's energy like in inviting in the here. devil into the house. But it's I, hilarious. I was like, it is funny. Like, you know, we'd it's have funny. it for the opposite reason that they would we gotta get a Kyrie Irving bobblehead too I mean that's kind of cool though yeah, yeah be, he's, 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 he's awesome cool.
Yeah, I first but thought he was playing. LeBron, that'd be but... funny. Yeah, yeah, they let him play again. Yeah, he's playing. <laughs> yeah. I love how it's just like the signal man. The money was more important than the pandemic. I you guess know, I wonder... they couldn't have enough players because the test, the players that were vaccinated kept getting COVID, <laughs> <laughs> and, and they had to bring in the unvaccinated players. And this is not just happening with, with sports ball teams. This is happening in hospitals. <laughs> yeah, this is happening in supermarkets. There's even official government notices saying, "Hey, if you test positive, just show up to work anyway." Literally, there's supermarkets telling people to do this because of the staff and labor shortages in major institutions and and we're at a point in this pandemic where the the unvaxxed can't get work the sick that are testing positive are told to go back to work yep. that's absolutely crazy it, it's actually weird. very very normal because this was only supposed to be 15 days to slow the spread anyway that you're not supposed to shut down the economy and this is the economy like gasping for air like we can't survive if we don't bring in anyone that may or may not have te- it doesn't matter at this point because our survivability is more important I it's like when you said people were climbing out of the bomb shelters, even when the bombs kept dropping. Mike, Mike Rowe. You got to yeah. get back to life at some point. Yeah, that, that, yeah. yeah so uh, yes. last night, Mike Rowe uh, pointed out in the UK during, what was it, the Blitz? Yeah. When yeah, they, the, were, they, the were, they were they bombing were bombing of London. The yeah. bombing of London. After a few days, people were like, okay, the bombs are still going off. I guess it's time to get back to work because you couldn't just stay locked in your basement. You would just wither away. So even with, what was it? They were using Zeppelins, right? Yeah, they the were, Germans were like they were using zeppelins for sure for observation. I don't know if they were dropping bombs from zeppelins, but they were dropping bombs on London. People were like, "Eh, back to work," and bombs are going off. Stay I calm, think, carry on. I think we're at that point. Were they yeah. getting rocketed? I too? think we're at the point where hospitals are just like, "Okay, we can't function anymore. Just bring back the nurses. Yeah. Bring back the unvaxxed nurses. Bring back Kyrie Irving. Bring back." Thank God, man. You know? <laughs> that's the natural. I mean, the natural flow of any of any disease, anyway, of any epidemic, is eventually you get back to it. Thanks for checking out this segment from the Timcast IRL podcast. If you want to watch live, you can check out this channel Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. And don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to this channel. And if you want more unfiltered and uncensored content with all of these guests, go to TimCast.com and become a member. All of these guests you know and love in exclusive segments on our website where we are unrestricted in what we talk about. So you'll definitely not want to miss it. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you all next time.